Yeah, hi there. We're just off of Aurora Avenue where a big line has been forming for a small diner with an even bigger legacy. When they began back in the 50s where it was known for potentially big payouts, it was a gambling parlor, then a diner, the kind where 12 eggs isn't a dozen, it's one omelet. Bet's Cafe, we are pushing about an hour, hour and a half right now. In a lot of cities, they have like their greasy spoon. This is kind of it for here, because like this, um, for a lot of people, it's just, it would spit a cheap local spot. That, I mean, yep. it's just like I'm a part of, I don't know. So it's, if you're a Seattle local, it's just something you've been in and out of at least once. Zach? It's kind of the last piece of, I feel like, a lot of old, grungy Seattle that people remember. Just a lot of memories here, too. You know, lot, lots of drawings put up on the walls, for sure. You can call it a greasy spoon. Some people call it their favorite hangover spot, but everybody seems to call it family. This has been my home away from home. I'm originally from California. And to have this kind of feeling in this kind of environment, it doesn't make me miss home so much. This is, this is my home. This is why I'm here today. Our daughter was born. She's the cafe baby, so she has spent more time here than she has mostly anywhere else. Shut up! That's my father-in-law. It's, it's sad to see people like this yeah, disappear, but hopefully they will reopen, or we had a, a, an idea, where was it? Food truck. A food truck. You're working today, but you don't actually work here anymore. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I found out that it was the last day I came back because this is my family. You know, so now I'm working today. They didn't even ask me. I just like, hey, I'm just gonna do this real quick. The general manager, we all call her mom because that's what she is. She takes care of everybody. Everybody that walks through that door, that's her children. With the uncertain future, I notice a lot of customers gobbling up the souvenirs. They're taking home their receipts. This place means so much to so many people that if they can't afford a t-shirt, they're taking their receipts. And that's awesome. 1954. I, I saw that sign there. I've oh never, gosh, I've never eaten there. The but the I hate running these stories when we're on the, the set. Now I'm so hungry. Just look at all that food. Oh. Opened in 1929. Here you go. See, another one's still alive. But it's not Beth's, but it's not Beth's. It's an institution. We'll see. Hopefully they come back. <laughs> hopefully they come all back. All right, Rebecca. Hopefully they will reopen. <laughs>